By God's power, Moses sent ten plagues. Free the Israelite slaves. Parted the Red Sea. Fed the people with manna from heaven. And taught the Ten Commandments. God then told Moses in Exodus 25, 8, And let them make me a sanctuary, that I may dwell among them. What is a sanctuary? A sanctuary is a holy place, a place of refuge or safety. Have you ever been to a bird sanctuary? This is a place that birds and plants live. Birds gather together for survival and are protected from hunting by people. A bird sanctuary is kind of what God told Moses to build. Just as a bird sanctuary protects the birds, the tabernacles and now temples protect us. We are given power from God to help us overcome the fiery darts of the adversary or temptations of the world. Let's pretend that this bowl of water is the world and that this black pepper is all the bad things we find in the world, such as fiery darts or temptations. What are some examples? We just learned about the Ten Commandments, so when we are tempted to break a commandment, those are some of the things that are not good for us and fill the world with evil or bad things. For example, let's use our pepper and fill our world up with all the bad things. Stealing, lying, can you think of any? Yes, saying bad things about others, using God's name in vain, not keeping the Sabbath day holy, being angry, being unkind. All of these things make our world really dirty and not a very nice place to live. So how can we live in this world and not get all yucky, like my fingers got pepper all over it? Well, we have Jesus Christ and holy temples that help us. Temples give us four things or four Ps, power, protection, peace, and purpose through the priesthood of God. We're going to take the temple and Jesus Christ and his power, and we're going to put it on ourselves. So this finger represents us and we're in the world. And what happened? Our finger or our life gets dirty, right? We make bad choices. We sin. We don't always follow Jesus. But because of Jesus Christ and temples and the power we get from them, when we have that power with us and we put it on us, or we put on the armor of God, we can overcome the world or we can live in the world, but not be of the world. So see what happens to the pepper when I have the power of God found in holy temples. <gasps> Isn't that amazing? All of the pepper went away right away. Isn't that awesome what temples can do? We can have power to choose the right, protection to fight back against the evils of the world, peace in knowing that we are sons and daughters of loving heavenly parents, and purpose in God's plan of happiness. Even though you are young, you can still learn about temples, pray, read your scriptures, be baptized, follow the Holy Ghost, go to church, repent, so one day when you get older, you can go to the temple. Part of our purpose in life is to use our talents and gifts from God to bless others. When Moses was building the tabernacle, many people used their talents to help build it. When God restored the church through the prophet Joseph Smith, he was commanded to build temples. Hiram is going to tell you a story about one man who used his talent to help build the Salt Lake Temple. Have you seen what is written on the front of the temple? It says, Holiness to the Lord, the house of the Lord. Do you know who carved the words in the Salt Lake Temple? His name was John Rowe Moyle, and he lived a long time ago. President Young called him a stonemason on the temple. He woke up at 2 a.m. so he could walk 22 miles to the temple. It took him six hours of walking. He would have been at the temple all week and then walked back home on Friday night, and he would get home at midnight. He worked on the temple for 20 years. One day, the family cow named Old Lindy kicked and broke John's leg. They had to cut it off, and John made himself a wooden leg. A broken leg didn't stop John. He kept walking to the temple, limping the whole way. He climbed 100 feet into the air to chisel the stone when he was 77 years old. The words, Holiness to the Lord, the house of the Lord. He died four years before the Salt Lake Temple was dedicated. Why did he continue to walk to the temple? He worked 
on it for so many years. Even when he didn't have a leg, because he loved God and knew that temples were holy places. How can you be like Brother Moyle and show your love for God in his temples? We can start by walking on the covenant path, the path that takes us back to our heavenly parents. Have you ever seen a temple? Here are children from around the world that did get to see a temple. I love the temple. They are big and beautiful and bless children all around the world. We're going to talk more about temples and how even when we're small, we could learn and prepare to go someday. We also learn that temples give us power, protection, peace, and purpose. Having a picture of the temple by your bed is a great way to remember to keep the commandments and to follow Jesus. So you can go inside the temple someday and make covenants and promises with God, and He will pour out His blessings upon you. You can also be like Brother Moyle and carve God's name into a piece of wood to help you remember to always put God first. Remember, that is the first commandment. Get some help from your parents and find a piece of wood, nail, and a hammer. Use the nail and hammer to make the word God. Then put it by your bed to help you remember to keep your eye on God and His temple. Because where you look is where you will go. Go to mccforkids.com for more videos and resources about the temple. Until next time, bye my friends! <laughs> Have you ever seen? No. Have you ever seen a temple?